Hi everyone, it's Ileana and I have a card to share with you today. My dear friend Catherine Puller asked me to do a few designs with her new stamp of approval box that's just coming out. What I'm doing now is I'm taking a piece of black cardstock and I've just scored it. I am prepping it with my embossing bag. And now I'm just going to put a little strip across the top so that it doesn't go over um, the crease. I'm going to stamp it with the background stamp that is included in the collection. And I like to put the piece of um, post-it tape at the top to help protect the back side. And it also helps to keep the um, cardstock from moving. And um, I am pressing really hard on my Misty. As you can see, I even picked it up and pressed on it with my hands just to make sure that I could get that design all over. And I've, I'm stamping it several times to make sure that I have uh, good coverage so that when I pour my embossing powder, it will um, cover every single piece of the design of the stamp. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm just using some clear embossing powder and I am heat setting it. I really like to watch the powder melt. It's just, I think it's just awesome. It's just super cool. Once the embossing powder is melted, I'm just gonna let it cool off just a little bit so that um, I don't um, mess up the powder because it stays a little warm and if you if you try to clean off the, the embossing bag powder too soon, it will smear your embossing. So I just like to cool it off a little bit. And then I take a little rag and I buff out all of that embossing um, powder tool from the cardstock. Now I'm prepping a white piece of cardstock and I'm going to put it in a Misty. And I have my sentiment stamp already attached I'm going to do some selective stamping. So I want one of the words to be a different color. So I'm just taking a small piece of post-it tape and I'm just cutting it down with my finger, just tearing it to um, just cover up that one word. And once I'm happy with covering that one word, I'm going to take my Versamark Black Onyx ink and I'm just going to um, cover my entire stamp And then I will remove the post-it tape. And it should be good, um, but you can always go back and um, touch up part of the word. And if you're careful, you can bring your eye down to the level of the stamp and you can just um, stamp that one part again without having to put on that um, post-it tape again. I just didn't want to put it back on and then have the ink on my fingers and then smear it all over my card. So I was just trying to be very careful by just using the corner of my ink pad. And once that's done, I am going to use a different Misty because I've already mounted the word friend onto it. I didn't want to um, move my other stamp because I'm going to use that same stamp with a different color for the word that I covered up. I will be putting some clear embossing powder on the black onyx ink because um, you just have to do this part first. Otherwise, you can't use the different embossing powder on the word brilliant. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to heat set that. And I did warm up my heat tool before so that um, it would be nice and hot. It, it tends to uh, not warp the card as bad. Now I'm cleaning my stamp with just an absorber rag. And once that's done, I'm going to um, cover up the other words just to leave the word brilliant exposed. And the reason why I'm not putting the post-it tape on the cardstock itself is because the word brilliant has a little bit of a shape to it and I don't want to accidentally cover up um, 
part of that word. If you want to, you can create a mask and just cover it up, but I was a little lazy and I didn't want to do that part. So I'm just covering it up with some post-it tape. I'm using my Delicata um, Gold ink. And it's not a big deal if you don't get great coverage because it's a sticky ink and I was going to put some gold embossing powder on it. So it should, anything that's not perfectly stamped will get embossing powder over it anyways. And I'm just using a generic gold from Michaels. I've had this forever. And I don't keep my um, gold or any of my colored embossing powders in a tub because um, I don't use them that often. I just keep my clear embossing powder in the tub. And now that that's complete and I used the tag die that came in the stamp of approval collection and I noticed that you could um, use the tag to hug the top and the bottom of the stamped image. And so I'm just checking to see how I want to place it. I just used a little piece of post-it tape. I ran it through my um, Big Shot and I'm carefully removing the die, w the part with the post-it on it because I don't want it to rip my sentiment. And I'm just checking to see exactly where I want it. And you can feel when the die cut goes against the die. And you don't have to do any anything tricky with your Big Shot because um, you're not going to cut the wrong thing. Now I'm adding a little bit of ATG to the back of my sentiment. And I'm just going to do a rough cut around this matte gold cardstock. This doesn't come in the kit, but... Um, I just wanted to use it to um, just bring some color. You can create your own um, gold cardstock by just using your embossing powder. You use your Versamark and then you press it onto your cardstock and then you pour powder on it and then you can make your own gold paper. And I'm just taking some sequins. These are also not in the kit, but um, you can just use uh, any kind of embellishment that you want on top. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few around. And I'm just going to adhere those with my multi matte medium. It, it dries matte, so you're not going to see anything on your um, card if you get any that um, comes out. And once I get all those pieces um, down, you, I'll be all finished. So be sure you head on over to Catherine Puller's website. I'll include the link below so that you can sign up for the waitlist so that you will be notified when the collection becomes available. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day.